Do not flush your paper towels down the toilet. It's going to cost you. Let me tell you why. So a few days ago, I took a roll of paper towels, I stuck it in my miter saw, and I cut it up to make toilet paper. A lot of you got really upset about that because you guys said paper towels are going to clog up the toilet. You guys are right. However, I did not say to flush the paper towels down the toilet. I know the name is a bit deceiving, but toilet paper is not meant for your toilet. It's meant for your, please do not make me do a tutorial video on what toilet paper is actually used for. Anyway, having said that, I figured I'm gonna address this because yes, I did not mention it. So I think it's worth mentioning just based on all the comments that I got. Today, we're gonna check out the difference between toilet paper and paper towels because toilet paper actually dissolves a lot faster than paper towels do, okay? Paper towels actually do not dissolve. So yes, it is a terrible idea to flush them down your toilet. What can happen? Well, you're gonna clog up your toilet. All right, let me go ahead and fill up this toilet. So we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, toilet paper in there first. Okay, throw it in there. All right, so let's give it a, you know what, let's put them both in there at the same time. Okay, I mean, it's been a few seconds. Okay, so this is the paper towel. Okay, you guys can see the toilet paper's falling apart already, okay? Yet the paper towel. It's not. Okay, actually, I can pull pretty normal. There it is. Took quite a bit. Toilet paper, you guys can see, it's disintegrating. So, anyway, just a quick test to show you that uh, toilet paper is a lot safer to flush than paper towels. Paper towels are absolutely a bad thing to flush. However, if you have a septic tank, neither of these is a, is a good idea to flush especially have an aerobic system because they are uh, it's a bad idea so anyway just uh some for you guys to see so a toilet is actually very simple okay it, it has what's called a pee trap okay so the water sits here the duct goes down goes back up and then it goes back into your main drain okay so the pee trap stays full once you fill the level on both sides, the water starts to drain, okay? Once it drains, it actually creates a vacuum and sucks the rest of it through, okay? Uh, so it, it has to make a pretty sharp turn. So you can actually clog up, most of the time when you clog up a toilet, it's in the P-trap, right? Because it's trying to make a U-turn. Once it gets through the P-trap, it actually gets into your plumbing, okay? Your, your, your drain line. So uh, now you're potentially talking about big damage, okay? Uh, because if you only clog up the P-trap in your toilet, you can actually remove the toilet and get it unclogged. However, once it gets down into your main pipes, now you, you got some big problems, okay? So you need to call a plumber, more likely, if you cannot get it unclogged. And of course, they have to get a rotor router. They may have to remove your toilet. There's a lot that could potentially have to be done to get your pipes cleared out, okay? So you do not want to flush paper towels down your toilet, okay? So, uh, Again, I did not mention that the other day. <laughs> I figured it was kind of implied, but hey, uh, that's why I'm making this video today. So do not flush your paper towels down the toilet. I hope this helps. We'll see you guys next time. We are Texas Barnuminiums.